Everybody, my name is Hofstad's Tortoise, and welcome to Seven Years of War again. And now today, I am doing what I've been, what I said I would do a long time ago. I'm going to be starting a historical campaign. Now, I'm going to be playing as the Russians on the eve of war. I have two simple objectives: to take Konigsberg and Memland, and then eventually declare peace. Now, this is going to be a very short and sweet, simple scenario. I'm only tackling this on because I did want to do some sort of campaign video and show how the campaign thing worked. And I'm not going to be playing as something like Prussia or Austria right now because this is just, this is just very simple. Now, first thing I'm going to do is set up some research, uh, technology research. Now, I already have improved terrain utilization. That was the first thing. If I was playing earlier in the game, I would be researching that because huge amounts of wheat in the area. So... Mm, excuse me. First thing I'll go do is maybe set up improved goods to increase the amount of production, which is always a good, nice choice. Oh, excuse me. Now, first off, now I'm going to move my guys up around here just to get them in position for an attack, which I will be doing later. Oh, why does it keep glitching out on me like this? This is infuriating. Alright, sometimes it just won't let me move if I've clicked on something. Alright, now I do not know how the economy in this game works. It is a complete and total mystery for me. So if you have questions, please, I, I, I really don't know. <clears throat> Alright, I'm basically just going to guess. I have a sort of decent idea-ish, but I would not count on it working. Because if you try and take my advice or what I say seriously, you're going to end up in a massive world of hurt, so just don't do it. Alright, so I'm just going to be focusing on production, just trying to increase the amount of crap my um traders produce. And so with that, I'm also going to try and increase the amount of production, so I'll get a craft producer and get try to build them in Vilnius, Lithuania. Now let's increase the speed and hopefully we can start. Now, this is a small farm. One of the things that's important to note in this game that I did not know is that there's the difference between profit and selling price. Uh, the traders in this, in this game are dynamic that do respond to various trade, including distance and other such things in the, in the market. Uh, and the profit here is essentially what you are aiming to achieve with, your, with, with a single company. And as you adjust the amount of profit, the selling price increases. And the selling price is basically what your traders see. So if the selling price is way too high, they just aren't going to go for it, so you're not going to net your profit. So essentially, you just want to set this to a happy medium where you're doing a good cost, getting a decent amount of revenue, while not scaring off the traders. <clears throat> There's also some things... Oh, wait, down here... Ugh. Down here is a whole bunch of other random crap. You can see the amount of demand. So you could, you could, if if you want to satisfy demand, you could lower the selling price from different places, and that would uh, um, <clears throat> help because the difference between corporates and inhabitants. Let's get that out of the way. The difference between corporates and inhabitants is where the hell did it go? I keep losing it. The difference is. Inhabitants comes from the cities, while corporates comes from craft producers, because, you know, there are certain prerequisites. Say, if you want to build boats, I don't think this is true in the game, but if you want to build something that requires something else, then the demand from the corporates will increase. However, if, you, if you're building a building in a, in a province, then I think the inhabitants will demand more of it. So that way you can maybe increase the provincial trade, and that way, it could also influence the amount of wood that goes into a certain area. Do not take my word for it. I do hope the developer watches this video and has, has an idea of what I am saying, and he can correct me. <clears throat> you have to excuse me, I do have a bit of a cold, so... <clears throat> Alright, these guys are taking this sweet frickin' time to move. Let's have a look at my financials. It's still going crappily, unfortunately, but I have plenty of money. But that's because I'm also building a thing, so... Uh, ministry, fleet payments... Yeah, it's pretty much all being sucked up into my army payments. So, we'll look up fleet. And I'm just gonna quickly save it, because this game has a... 
as an ugly tendency to get memory access violations and just crash. It's very frustrating. Actually, we'll move him a bit down south. There we go. I think that, I'm not sure what this number up here means. I think it has something to do with the amount of money I'm losing per day or per month. Either way, a red arrow pointing downwards is never something good. I have a port. I have a frickin' fishing fleet up there, but it's so high that I have to use the menu to get it. Because I can't move my frickin' map up there. It's so stupid. Uh, let's see. Uh, health, tax, nobody likes taxes. So we'll just... You know what? This this won't last long, uh, won't last long enough to jeopardize my amount of money. We'll increase the provincial trade up here because this bun apparently means something good. Well, th that at least that's what it looks like. Alright, we can see up here that also the demand for the inhabitants, there's some sort of demand up there. Uh, it costs zero, brick, artillery, maintenance, I have no idea what that means. Alrighty, looks like my guys are in position to start a war. It is Mar 2nd of March, so let's have a go of it. Um, okay, 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 where's my diplomacy there? And declare war, let's have a bit of fun. Let's see how it goes. We'll send this guy off to meme land to get some dank memes. I feel disgusting. Please don't hate me. Alright, now, hopefully we can find a frickin' siege barn and take this place. Oh, yep, there it is, I think. Alright, keep going. Let's have some fun. This my main division is moving on to Konigsberg to have some fun because it has 24,000 men while that home only has 19,000. Alright. Hopefully they will take this relatively quickly. Memory access violation, of course. So we'll just bring this shit up again. There's, I'm not going to restart the video because this game is just a little bit crashy. Load it up. Oh, did it auto save? Um, 7th of March. Yep, it auto saved. Okay, that's good. That's a bit irritating. <clears throat> well, not irritating, that's actually pretty good. But, yeah, sorry about that crash, it's pretty stupid. Maybe it's because it has to be, oh, ooh, there we go. Okay, yep, it looks like it started right at the war, so that's good. Maybe it auto saves on crash, because it knows it's going to bugger up on me. Alright, keep going. And I want them to head... Oh my god, what the hell? Try it again. What is this memory access violation crap? Go. Alright. Will you be decent? I think it's actually being triggered when I um, hit Memland, Memeland. That port. I can't. don't know how to freaking pronounce it. Alright, we'll get you to stop and see if we can't move you up. Alright, keep going. Maybe reduce the game speed. I have no idea what's causing it. What are you doing? Did you stop? Okay, you stopped. <clears throat> Alright, what can I do with this trait? I can't really do much. Um, Ooh, maybe I can go to there and block off a port. That should be interesting. I didn't tell you to stop. Are you going to turn? Are you? There you go. That wasn't so hard. Alright. Let's see if we'll do it, if we'll work this time. It looks, I think I'm blockading it, I'm not too sure. Ah, uh, yep, there is an enemy division of 14900. And I have Memland. That was pretty simple. 
Apologies for the crashes. I, I don't know what's with this game. Now very soon we're going to come up on Konigsberg. They have the 5th Division, I'm not sure what 284 means, 1400 soldiers versus my 2400, so I'm probably just going to auto-resolve this battle. What's this? Okay, it looks like we've hit the summer season, I thought that was a crash for a second. Uh, it looks like movability, desertions, in decrease. Uh, yep, it's just showing me that I have it, what the seasons does for influences on productions and demands, so... That's not that big a deal, but looks like my money hasn't changed all that much, so let's just auto-resolve that. Yep, victory over Königsberg with 5.6 victory points, nothing special. I expected that to happen. Now I'll send these guys down there and see if we can't siege that fort. Alright. What is this enemy doing? Can I chase them? Ah, what are you doing? What's this? No, I didn't ask for that. I didn't ask for that. I want to capture them. I wish to completely annihilate that army. So it will fast march. Oh, yep, they completely routed. Okay, that's cool. So now that I have everything available to me, so we'll just get these guys up there, and what is this? What's this around here? I'm not sure. I think that's some sort of trade route. Alright, historic events, uh, alliance with Austria, of course. Alright, how long has it been going so far? 12 minutes. Alright, ah, oh, it's on the fastest speed. Oh my god. Alright, move it, get there, please, hurry up. Alright, <clears throat> alright. Let's just simply auto siege it for now because I have to go through the tutorial again. As it starts, we're at a disadvantage, so that's a bit unfortunate. So, no, I didn't ask for that. Well, actually, I did ask for that. Alright, everybody's moving. A weird thing about this is that. Unlike Total War, you don't actually have a battle map for this one. It's set... Oh, Jesus. Excuse me. Gross. Um, you don't actually have a battle map. You have... Uh, yep, giveaway rights. You have this weird little thing here. Basically, it's some sort of operational kind of uh, strategic sort of thing. Well, basically, you just build up the defenses and sort of just wail on the defenders. You can, when you feel comfortable enough, you can, st confident enough, you can start an attack, or you can just keep an auto siege like I'm doing right now. You can surrender and retreat, or just yeah, click out of that. And when fortifications are built, you can move forces into into each one and fire on the enemy. I'm just waiting for this guy to get in, so maybe reinforce it. I think, I think I can, soldiers can, oh crap, I'm losing money pretty quickly, so hopefully I can uh, <clears throat> end this war up here quickly, because I need 25 victory points for, oh, what's this? Trading fleet captured. Alright, I think since I'm at war at France, I'm not sure what's happening over there, it doesn't matter. So, Go back to where I was. Oh crap, where was I? I don't know where I am. Oh no. Alright. Now it's not letting me. Alright, there we go. Alright, now goes the siege. Oh, looks like I did. Um, it's not too bad. Alright, now my artillery has moved onto, def onto fortification positions. We'll move these guys down, and it allows them to help with the construction crew. The existing here shows the amount of units that you have um, involved in the construction crews. As you can see, I've managed to get a little bit more advanced in the siege, so hopefully this won't take too long. 
because I still. Oh, what can I? All right. What's this? Technology improved. So let's. Hmm. Planting. Just thought to help with the. I should have done. I should have done this one first, so that way I can. Uh, where's goods? Where's goods? Production goods overview because there's still a, a decent demand for timber, so I should have increased the. I could probably increase uh, the production of timber in the research panel. It would have mattered because, well, maybe it would have mattered because I'm not sure how much of a penalty is applied for for demand because it's not exactly. It either way, I have a surplus, so it shouldn't matter. So that was a stupid thing to say, and for some reason, a trade is going right through the siege front. That's always fun. Yeah, it looks like we are now halfway through the siege uh, building condition. My stats up here only have 44 days of supplies left. While, yeah, looks like these two will be built, but these ones won't before I run out of supplies. I start getting attrition. Uh, what's this? Lack of supply for the first division? Yeah, doesn't surprise me. But I still have plenty of ammo because they have not engaged in proper combat yet. Yep, that's a supply train. That's pretty cool. I didn't know. That's a, another one. What you should, what I could have done was actually re research the supply, but there's a lot of um, prerequisite research. I just don't feel like going to train the chain of of research tools that you have to get. <clears throat> All right, looks like I'm going to win that relatively soon, or well, soon-ish. Uh, I still have supplies for another thirty days, <clears throat> but if need be, I can retreat one of them off. Wait, who's actually doing it? First division or second division? Doesn't matter. But I still still have this fleet up there, so maybe in the late in the later bit I could transport them over to over to Stettin, West Palm, because I think I have way rights with the Prussians that will allow, well, allow me to move through. Do I? Let's select one. Yep, I could move through Prussian ter uh, Polish territory if I wanted to. Though I'll still have to deal with supply restrictions. Actually, I might continue on with this campaign, see how it goes, because this is quite interesting. I want to be able to see how I can handle my restrictions in supply. My finances seem to be in decent order, um, <clears throat> so they haven't gone too far down. Oh my god, would you hurry up and die? Surely. <clears throat> alright, alright, alright. Now we have a fair amount of soldiers on the field, so can we move them up? I actually have no idea how to use it. Be oh, it's an auto siege, no wonder. Can I take it off? This is how it works. Alright. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, artillery, artillery groups have moved up. Uh, Grenadier. <coughs> Just keep with Oh, look, they've moved up quite. Eh, well, the siege should be over quickly anyway. Hopefully, again, enough victory points just from take. Okay, we've won the siege. Now, let's see what happens. Can I piss off? No! Oh my god, go away. Alright, our troops are victorious at the fort. Let's see how many diplomacy points we have versus the Prussians. I only have 21 points. I need four more in order to get them to stop declaring a war on me. Because you special special guest? Okay then. Apparently there's a special guest somewhere. Alright. I do, do hope you enjoyed part one of my campaign for the Prussians. If you enjoyed this content, please consider liking liking this video, leaving a comment about what, what you'd see, and subscribe, and all the other crap that YouTube wants you to do. I hope you have a good day. This has been Hofstadt's Tortoise.